The beginning of the good news about Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah the prophet. I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, called Peter, and his brother, Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. 
Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. Jesus calling, come follow me, come follow me. With perfect love his song came falling, come follow me today. Like gentle rain, the music came, refreshing me. Come follow me, come follow me. 
As Jesus and his followers came to Jerusalem, a great crowd went out to meet him. They took palm branches, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. When the Pharisees saw the great procession, they said, See, this is getting us nowhere. The whole world has gone after him. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve disciples. And while they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Of this. 
Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go and pray. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is very sorrowful even to death. Remain here and watch with me. And going a little further, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Thank you. 
When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. And when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Do you not hear how many things they witness against you? And once again Jesus said nothing in reply, and the governor was very surprised. Then Pilate asked the people, What then shall we do with the one who was called Christ? They all answered, shouting, Crucify him! Pilate answered them, saying, But he has done nothing wrong. They shouted even louder, Crucify him! And so the governor's soldiers led him away to Golgotha, the place of the skull, and crucified him. Oh, oh, oh. 
Jesus, being in very nature God, did not cling to his divine rights as God. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross.
He was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his stripes we are healed. It is finished. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He's not here. He has risen, 